Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my prison contract guide. In this guide, I'll be giving you some quick tips and tricks on how you can effectively complete the prison contract in the Los Santos Juniors DLC in GTA Online. First up, if you have no idea how to even start these contracts at all, then make sure to check out the playlist in the eye in the top right of your screen, which also feature the other guides I've done on the contract so far. It should be noted that if this contract is not currently on your board, you just have to keep playing other contracts until it shows up. So just keep playing those contracts until you can actually play it. Starting off with the Inside Man Prep mission, where we're going to be doing a lot of driving, which I'm all going to skip, because there's not really much point in showing you how to drive a car as I'm pretty sure you know how to. So fast forwarding to the point where we're at the gang meet and stuff starts to go a little bit south, you have two options here. Either you take out all the people that are there or you just simply reverse and then drive away. I have gone for the second option. Your best bet here to escape them is by taking out two of the cars that follow you and then make your way to the Mission Row police station. If you're quick enough, which I'm pretty sure you are, you will be able to have shaken them and also at the same time have arrived at the Mission Row police department. This is where you will drop off Little D and yes it is actual name and yes it is probably referring to his little man and no we're not going to continue talking about that and then basically you might not only be scarred for life you also have to drive his car back to the outer shop and it will be mission complete. Super simple stuff. The next prep mission can be a little bit tougher and that is only because of one certain enemy inside of this mission. This mission actually has two different locations, one in the sewer and the other one in the movie set. Obviously both of them would be a reference to that Terminator movie that you might have seen once or twice. The Terminator itself, which is being played of course by an NPC, does take a lot more damage and also has a shotgun. So the best way to really approach him is either pumping him full of lead or shooting him with an RPG. Whatever you prefer. Regardless, you want to make sure to keep clear of him and don't get too close because he will shoot you dead very quickly. What you can also just decide to do is try to see if you have a window to just get into one of the trucks and drive away or if you have one you can also use a phantom wedge. If you have a phantom wedge make sure to use this because it is much much quicker than the truck that is being provided by you. Once you have acquired the trailer you want to make your way towards the prison while you're trying to lose the cops. Now there is another neat little trick which will make your life a whole lot easier because you're driving in a slow truck and well that's going to be rather difficult to lose the cops. You got two options here. Either you try to lose them on your way to the prison by also going through some off-road sections and effectively just avoiding every single road you possibly can. Or you can call in your terabyte, quickly enter and exit it again and you will have lost your wanted level. Another neat little trick as well is by accepting a job invite and then quickly exiting out of the job again to lose your wanted level too. Very simple stuff, super effective and super quick. And after two relatively easy missions, it is time to start doing the finale. The weapon loadout you want to be picking for this one is definitely going to be the Hustler, arguably the best one to use here, unless you want to use the Sharpshooter loadout if you want to have a better SMG to use within your car. Another benefit of the Sharpshooter loadout is that you will get a Mark II sniper rifle, which might make some sections in this mission a little bit easier as well. In terms of the vehicle to use, the Tailgater is something that you can use if you don't have the money or want to spend the money on a different vehicle but my personal preference is definitely going to go towards the Jester RR. You have to keep in mind that during this one you're going to be shot from all different angles and having that spot modification on the back there which is the louver will definitely help you out with not getting shot in the back. Very useful. After driving all the way to the prison it is time for the main job itself which is getting enough speed and then doing a big old jump over the fences of the prison. Once you've successfully done that you want to make a 180 turn and then go the way that I'm going. Because you of course want to get inside of the central area of the prison where you can start taking out the targets. You also have the option of course of taking a little jump but personally I think this is a little safer and will make you less likely to get shot. Very useful. Also, if you're using the pipe bombs, uh, don't bother using them because they are effectively useless and you're much better off just shooting them in the face.
Once you've taken out both of the targets and figured out that pipe bombs should be left at home, it is time to start making a way out of the prison by doing the same thing as we came in, past the water tower. If only I figured that one out as well instead of the gameplay. Moving on. Once you are on the outer ring of the prison, you want to make your way to the front, where you will be faced with a couple of gates. All you need to do here is be on the lookout of these paddles, which you then want to shoot out. They are marked on your minimap, as well as a big red arrow is above them, though it might be a little bit difficult to see, so I'm zooming in on the gameplay so you can see them better. Once you've shot out all the three panels and you're out of the prison, it is time to start making your way to the prison bus where little D is being captured in. Of course, the quickest way to go about this is by shooting out the driver in the driver's seat, then going around to the passenger side, and then let little D step in and immediately drive off. Smooth. After that, of course, it is time for another round of lose the cops or else they will catch you. So do that. Lose the cops. A very neat way of doing that is just simply making your way to towards the casino area and then taking the left that I'm taking as well and then staying on the off road because for some reason the cops didn't see you going on there and helicopters for some reason don't exist. And after successfully dropping off Lil D, the job will be complete, you will get paid and you can move on with your life. Before you do that though, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it or found it useful. Subscribe for more counter guides coming to you very soon. And if you really do like what you see on the channel, consider becoming a member like Chloe, Robert, A Loose Fire, Captain Price, Shakulu, and Dr. Strange Love. Join them and all the other fellow members by clicking the join button down below. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all later.